you folks doing? Jason here with 330 Outdoors coming to you guys today with another product review. Today we're going to be talking about Vortex and you're probably asking why in the world we're we talking about Vortex. Well, I'll tell you why. We've gotten so many responses um, wanting us to do more reviews on gear and uh, in particularly um, optics and you know what do we choose personally you know a lot of people have contacted me you know hey I know you're a guide what you, you know I'm looking for a new set of optics what do you you know what do you recommend guys I cannot recommend anything higher right now than Vortex their entire line is phenomenal um, I didn't know much about them up until about a year ago I had been you know I got kind of got sucked into the whole big two with Bushnell and Nikon and didn't know much about them I had heard of them but didn't know much about them until I got my hands on them and I could actually compare them to my, the Nikons that I was using, and there was just no comparison. I'm talking about all day comfort. For me, I'm looking through my optics when I'm guiding four to six hours a day, and uh, there was just no comparison as far as eye fatigue. And you know, a lot of you folks are saying, well, what is eye fatigue? Eye fatigue is, you know, the, the quality of the glass that they use allows your eyes to relax or strain when you're viewing them. And um, one thing I can tell you is, is that you know, Vortex's new line of, of, of optics with their HD high density glass, there's just, there's just so little eye fatigue, it's not even funny, and it makes it so much easier to use the number one tool in my bag when I go to, to guide every year, and that's my optics. So, um, now before all the questions start, and before you click the pause button, um, you know, because we're not, you don't see up here what you think you're, you were going to see, we're, gonna, we're doing our best to get you guys a review on that rangefinder and on either the Razors or the Vipers. Um, we're going to do our best, but today we're going to talk to you guys about two models that they have. The first model is their Diamondbacks. These Diamondback uh, optics here, guys, are phenomenal. They are right in the price range of my Nikon uh, uh, Monarchs, and to me, um, they are a step above those Nikons. Now, those Nikons are fantastic binoculars. By no means am I bashing Nikon. Um, but if I had to do it over again, I would have picked these up instead of those Nikons. But unfortunately, my dealer at the time didn't have Vortex what they do now. Um, so one of the things is, is just to go over a couple features, guys, I've done this video now eight times on Vortex, and I cannot cover all the information about all of the features and aspects that make up Vortex and why they are, um, you know, a step above everybody else. So you're just going to have to go to their website. You're just going to have to do your own research. That's why you're here watching this video now and, and get opinions and, and people's perspectives of the, of the materials that they use. Okay. We can't cover it all in such a short amount of time. So we're just going to talk to you guys about these. And then the next time we come out here, hopefully we'll have that range finder and a set of razors or vipers. But, um, these diamondbacks, first of all, overall impressions, you take them out of the box. You guys know sometimes just something as simple as the box or the covers of stuff can indicate to you whether or not you think you got hosed on a deal or whether your money was well spent. I can tell you that just pulling these things out of the box and uh, out of the box and out of the package, you can tell that it's quality from the very very get go. The uh, eye cup covers are real nice. They're flexible. They're not this hard plastic that wants to you know break or slip off when you get condensation from the cold. They stay on nice. The uh, the uh, objective lens covers are very, very nice. I know it's just little minute things, um, but good quality rubber that, um, that, that these companies put on here can kind of make or break a sale for me. And I don't know if it does for you or not, but it does for me. As far as the overall ergonomic feel of them, these fit nice. These, uh, these feel nice. They're nice and lightweight. Um, you know, the uh, focus ring here is is really dialed in nice. I'm not sure what kind of a of a gear ratio used, but it's real small adjustments to get that thing focused. You're not going from one side to the other side trying to focus in. Twist out eye cups, beautiful eye cups. They fit comfortably. They fit nice. That's one thing that I really look for in an op, in a set of binoculars is the eye cups. What do they feel like? Um, these are all full multi coated lenses. And they're all our gas or argon gas uh, pure, so there's no fogging. Um, you know, completely waterproof. If you guys are looking at the Nikon Monarchs or the Bushnell Legends, before you pick them up and before you you know you pay for them, grab a set of these out of the out of the case at the dealer and put them you know side by side and make your own comparisons. But I can tell you that you're you're going to be you're going to be pleasantly surprised at number one the price range for these compared to the Nikons as well as the overall image quality compared to the Nikons and the Bushnells. So check out the Diamondbacks. Phenomenal, phenomenal stuff. Um, and then secondly is, is the ones that I probably did the most testing with are these new Talon HDs. 
And what the HD stands for is, is high density glass. Um, folks, in my opinion, Vortex line of HD binoculars, you cannot get any better. I have had a pair of Swarovskis in my hand, comparing them side by side, and I'm telling you, for the money and for the quality, I would pick these over those Swarovskis any day of the week and twice on Sunday, bottom line. You guys know us here at 3 Through Outdoors. We don't bull crap you. We try to bring it to you real and raw. And the bottom line is, is that I'm not going to pay that price for those binoculars when the quality is right here. So um, as far as the uh, overall look and feel of these talons, these have got more of an open barrel design. Um, you know, I thought I was going to like it. I think I like the compact design better. That's just me personally. But they feel amazing. There's a little bit, there's a little bit more weight here, so it's going to hold you steadier. Now these are the 8x42s. Um, the 8x42s are just what I prefer for guiding. Um, it gives me a little bit more, um, it keeps my sight window steadier. Um, but uh, it, it's just, it's, they're ergonomically fit to your hand. Uh, they're not going to slip out of your hand, nothing like that. Same eye, uh, objective lens covers, eye cup covers, everything. Now I've got mine outfitted here with the Vortex Bino system. I really like this Bino system compared to some of the other ones that I've had on. Um, it's just the features of it. There's quality wrapped up into this as well. Like I said, guys, these have this high density glass as well. And um, they're also multi-layered prism coatings. So, you know, you're getting that prism coating that you need as well. And it's got the armor tech. Um, it's a non-slip, you know, it's just, it's indestructible. So if you guys are looking to make a step up above the uh, Diamondbacks and into that, you know, five to $600 range, these Talon HDs are absolutely phenomenal. I am in love with these binoculars. They're just absolutely just, the HD glass will blow your mind. I was literally getting about 10 minutes extra daylight in the evenings comparing these to the brand that I was talking about earlier. Um, you know, when I was really, really straining hard to see and try to pick game out, that HD glass gives it so much more light. I was getting about 10 minutes more um, compared to what I was, as well as things out there that, you know, it's the middle of February right now. So there's not much color out there. And when you did go by, you know, when I would, when I kind of, you know, pan over a field edge or out into a field looking for sheds or stuff like that to test these things, you know, colors just absolutely pop out and it's, it makes you stop. Um, and take a look compared to where before I might miss those things. So, you know, give these things, you know, give these things a try. Go to your dealership, pick them out, um, put them on the counter and, and just check them side by side to what you think you want. But, um, you know, Vortex Optics, you guys, their website is down here at the bottom of the screen. Same with the phone number. I've checked on their customer service. I've called kind of like a secret shopper almost to get information as just a general person wanting to know information. And their customer service is second to none. And uh, they've got a full lifetime warranty. Um, they're, you know, the, Vortex is here in America. You know, you're not, you're not getting these things from, you know, over in another country or, you know, in France or something like that. These things are from the United States. So, you know, uh, just cannot speak any highly, uh, any, any higher of Vortex Optics, you guys. They've made a believer out of me um, as, you know, as my income during the hunting season goes and, you know, putting food on my table for my family. You know, my optics are, are extremely, extremely important. So if I can endorse anything, and you know we don't like to endorse a lot of things, but if I can endorse anything, it's Vortex. Give these people a call. Check out their products. If you don't know nothing about them, if you do, you know, hey, uh, you already know the, the quality of Vortex. So let's, listen, <coughs> excuse me here. We appreciate all the support here at 3 Outdoors. You guys, we, uh, we love the comments, good and bad. Like I said, we're going to do our best to get you guys that rangefinder and those Vipers or Razors, and we're going to compare those then to what we've had here and kind of go from there. Um, you know, we like I said, we appreciate it. Keep the feedback coming. And um, as always, you know, God bless. You guys have a great day. Thanks for tuning us in here at 3 Through Outdoors, and we'll check back with you real soon.